Hi, I'm Sean with Sergeant Greenleaf, and we're here to show you how to install the Access Blue medallion kit on a standard safe. One of the things we have to do to mount our lock to install the Access Blue is to gain access to the back of the safe door. So, I've already removed the majority of the screws to this cover. Let me remove the last screw. see the actual safe bolt work the mechanism you can see if I turn the handle how that bolt work works this is particular entrance this is called a safe relocker in the event that someone tries to attack your safe that will fire um, what we want to do with that is we were going to pin that back to ensure that it uh, doesn't fire while we're doing our install our surface that we're going to install, our Bluetooth module, we'll first want to clean with an alcohol swab. So we're going to go ahead and wipe off the area because we supply double-sided sticky tape with each module that you're going to install. In this one, I've already installed the double-sided sticky, so I'm going to stick the Bluetooth modules towards the top of my application area and that's gonna give me a good line for my cable to route underneath the bolt work here. The medallion installation comes with a battery box, and the battery box will fit two nine volt batteries connected to a cable. This cable will connect to the bottom connection of our Bluetooth module. So you'll wanna find a surface area that is relatively close within the cable's connection. For our example here, this cable is actually shorter than what will be supplied with the actual lock. So once we get that into place, I can then take my connection and plug it in. We'll know that we have power because a light will flash up next to the Bluetooth reset button. We have our battery box installed, we have our Bluetooth module. One of the things we have to note is the safe bolt work here slides up and down, so we want to route any cables behind this bolt work here. Starting with the antenna, I take the antenna and I'll need to thread my antenna through the back of the lock line. The threading of the antenna will continue through the actual spindle hole of the safe. And once I get some antenna threaded through the spindle hole, I can just pull the rest of it through the front of the safe. With my antenna threaded through the back of the lock body, I'll need to thread my medallion through the front of the safe door. Once I thread it through the front of the safe door, it has to come back through the lock mode. The front of the safe door you can see our antenna coming through the spindle hole and then our medallion cable going in through the spindle hole. What we want to do is we want to locate a surface on the antenna or the medallion itself where we can put the antenna. The antenna will have a sticky film that you can go and attach. I would typically either stick it to this surface area here or this surface area here. Our medallion is secured to the front of the door. We want to complete the installation on the inside of the door. To complete the installation, I need to secure my lock body, route my cables underneath my safe bolt work, and plug it into the Bluetooth module. In addition, once I'm complete and I've tested it a few times, 
I also want to deal with this relocker device, which there is a plate that will install that will support the relocker. We're going to secure the lock body to the front of the door. We supply three screws. We have our access blue lock installed. We have our battery pack and we have our Bluetooth module. On the back of the lock, we've installed a relocker plate which attaches to the safe's relocker pin. What this relocker plate does is it supports this pin and this pin is in the event that someone tries to punch your lock off through the front of the door, it'll essentially break this relocker plate and then this pin is going to fire into this space here and it won't allow you to basically turn the handle. But what we're going to do here is we're going to test the actual lock to make sure everything is installed properly. So what I need to do is I need to go to my Access Blue application. Here you see red, which means we're not connected to anything. And we need a pair to it. We click on the plus mark in the, the corner. Click on reconnect for the Bluetooth. Here, we want to go to Bluetooth settings, and this is for first time pairing. As you can see here, what I'm broadcasting or what I'm picking up, I have Access Blue Sample number 12E. Click on that to pair. It's then going to ask me for a pairing code. The pairing code can be found on the back of the Bluetooth sticker or in a manila envelope. My pairing code fix. Five, four, three, two, one, and click OK. Once I'm paired, it'll say paired to available devices. I'll then back up back to my app, click to reconnect, and now we see our paired device. Once we're paired and we're connected, it goes green. Our default combination, one, two, three, four, five, six, pound, and then we're going to click the send button. And that clicking sound is the actual lock mechanism. We can turn our handle. Close it up and on the app you can see that we're on secure again, so let's do that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Send. Communicating. The lock bolt is open. I can turn my handle. 